litigate this in the press. If the officer used excessive force, I think he should be prosecuted. But at the same time, let's not pretend that our morgues and cemeteries are full of young black men because cops are shooting them. The reality is that it's because other black people are shooting them. And we need to talk about black criminality. Blacks are only 13 percent of the mm -hmm. population, but there are 50 percent of homicide victims in this country, and 90 percent of those victims are killed by other black people. And we, we need to talk about that. Yeah, we ought to talk about that. Now, I played that clip a couple of uh, hours ago at the top of the show leading into uh, the Reverend Jesse Jackson interview that we did, and uh, he you know, didn't really comment on it. But this is so true. Now, let me make this clear. Police officers, teachers, but in this case, police officers are entrusted by the public, okay? They serve the public. Police officers should be held to a higher standard. So don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. And if this police officer acted in a, in a way inconsistent with the law, outside of his legal rights as an officer, then he should be punished, okay? Having said that, having said that, why is it we don't address what Jason Riley of the Wall Street Journal just talked about? Why is that? 14 people were shot in New York City over the weekend. By the way, they stopped stop and frisk in New York City, and shootings have gone way up this year. But that's okay. Who gets shot? Minorities. But we stop, stop, and frisk for minorities, supposedly. So you tell me, but why don't we discuss this? When is this going to stop? And they're getting shot by other blacks, mostly, as Jason Riley alluded to. Here's another video from Jason Riley. Watch. We certainly saw that the blacks were the victims of the looting the, the, as well. The same time, at the same time, the same weekend that this went down in Ferguson, we had 26 shootings in Chicago. But Al Sharpton didn't head to Chicago. He headed to St. Louis because he has an entirely different well, agenda, which is wrong. But just to, to say, whites. But, uh, well, that is Andrea actually Andrea not his agenda to talking to because everyone. he's actually there in a peace right. mission today. That was Andrea Mitchell saying that Al Sharpton was on a peace mission. Jason Riley is criticizing Al Sharpton, and she has the nerve to say, well, he's actually there on a peace mission. What? What are you, his publicist? <laughs> I know he works for the network, but come on. A peace mission. And then he goes on a, a, to a church and he gives us a, a speech about how this wasn't uh, a robbery in the store. This was shoplifting. That's a peace mission? T telling us it wasn't what we saw in the video? Scrabbing cigars and pushing the guy was shoplifting? I didn't know shoplifting involved bodily assault. Well, it's what they call strong arm tactics. I, I, folks, we're in a world where Israel's bad, Hamas is good. The cops are bad, and the looters, it's to be expected. Uh, what we saw Michael Brown do in the store, allegedly, is not, uh, it's not, it's not robbery, it's shoplifting. This cop, Jesse Jackson, told me nothing nothing could justify what the cop did. Really? We are living in an upside down world and it can only be possible because of the media we have today. I'm telling you now, the media. All right, folks, <laughs> what else could I say? We'll be back with former Navy SEAL Jonathan Gilliam. But first, here's Dr. Chauncey Crandall with tips on how to eat like a caveman. Heart disease is the biggest killer disease in America, and this doesn't surprise me. We are addicted to starches, sugars, fatty meats, and salt. People who live in countries with little heart disease eat very differently. One way some people stay heart healthy is by following what is known as the caveman or Stonehenge diet, so named because of its similarity to the way our prehistoric ancestors ate. People who follow this type of diet live off local fruits and root vegetables and get their protein mostly from fish and wild game they shoot themselves. Now since most of us don't hunt or fish for all our protein, here are some simple tips on how you can start to eat like a caveman modern day style. First, fill up on fruits and vegetables. Eat them first and you'll be less hungry. 
feast on fish, which is rich in nutrients, but not in calories. Choose fatty fish like mackerel, herring, sardines, and salmon, which are rich in heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. Get out and go for a walk. Remember, our ancestors were hunters and gatherers, so they didn't spend their time sitting in front of a TV or computer all day. If you live more like a caveman or a cave woman, your heart will love you for it. I'm Dr. Chauncey Crandall, and thank you for watching this Heart Health Minute. Remember, it's never too late to prevent or reverse heart disease. Right now, I invite you to discover your own risk for heart disease or even a heart attack by taking my quick, free online quiz at www.simpleheartest.com.